I think it's time to visit Tuchanka. We had a bit of downtime between major missions and now we are ready to go to another hub world. Here we have uh, two loyalty missions waiting for us. One for Morden, one for Grunt. Let's go get that taken care of. And as we are helping Morden and Grunt, we will bring them with us. Ooh, I got four points now. So we're gonna purchase that rank. And we're gonna go for heavy, I think. Honestly, I could have really used this heavy disruptor ammo on this mission that I just completed. Because some of those mechs could have exploded next to their friends and done some damage that way. <laughs> we'll take it. Grunt, you're going for max incendiary. And I think... I think we'll do, I mean, we're, what we're doing with our squad mates is we're having them bring squad points, which I'm okay with all that. We're giving them the squad variant, or rather the squad evolution of the, um, of the ammo powers. Now that we have access to the um, Shadow Broker's base, we can change that later if we want to. But I'm satisfied for now. Glad you're enjoying yourself, bunny. Good to have you here. Ooh. Char. What did I tell you, honey? Stop right there. Hey. Your shepherd of the Normandy. I, I was talking to Char. This is the Blue Rose of Ilium. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I mean, imagine if you have to go, like, visit your in-laws on fucking Tuchanka. Every Christmas, dude. If I can do this, Char. Hey, my blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. You deserve this. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. You deserve this. Blood Pack Recruiter. Tell me about your organization. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. What about Vorcha? You again. I told you the Blood Pack only wants Krogan. Go flash your smooth skin somewhere else. Dude, you can barely see anything. Like, you can see my mouth and nose. That's it. I thought coming to Tachanka would get me away from jaw-flapping aliens. I was obviously mistaken. I mean, uh, this guy is fun. If you're looking for work... Ah, that was the end of the dialogue the sequence. Blah, all right. Hello, over-captain. Clan leader wants to speak with you. Does he now? Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. All right. That was my intention. I don't know why all the drama. Someday we'll get off this rock. Show those Torians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijak's beast on the mother still alive. Ha! Ha! 
I also understood that humor. All right, let's go. Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the chief scout. Good. Talk to scout then, or chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. All right. Let's get that taken care of. What a paradise. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. It seems he has very, very high standards. Gadatog Uvank. Uvank. Let's go see what he has to say. This is just oh. a guard. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. What's up, Rex? Get out of here, Gatatog. Excuse me. <laughs> out of my... Shepard! My friend. What's up, buddy? You're Rex. Dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Um, it's been a long time, my good friend. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Uh, you made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. Nice. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Slap! Get out of here, Michael Dorn. To, I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. That is uh, another Krogan voiced over by Michael Dorn. Now, Shepard. What brings you here? How's the Normandy? Ah, uh, it's been exploded. Destroyed in the collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. <laughs> ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Good times indeed. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. And it's uh this is kind of the intention of the genophage, right? The idea being if you limit fertility, they'll find other non-violent ways to order their society. So Rex is kind of doing what the Salarians and Turians intended. Uh transforming Krogan culture to make it more amenable to interaction with other races. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. To help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Mm. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. So it's still, uh, you still got that um, other punishment in your back pocket. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs. All unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, 
not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Wow, he's preserving uh, cultural artifacts. He's like the Krogan EU. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture proud? Or UN even. For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Jorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. This guy's a pretty good political operator. Well done, Rex. I like this change in your uh, general approach to life. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. Fair enough. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Uh, Michael Sounds Dorn. like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. I like how he's just uh, openly talking about killing this guy right in front of him. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Damn right. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Okay. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiager. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a serene. <laughs> it's a good line. <laughs> I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How can you <laughs> alive? Man, who wrote this? Who wrote Rex in this game? They did a fantastic job. <laughs> Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering <laughs> it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. You'd think Morden would know about Krogan puberty. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. I wish he was bigger in the game. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? 
If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. The footstep sounds are pretty good. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Man, everybody's asking me for favors. Everybody's got problems that only I can solve. Uh, I'm leaving. Come with us. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. You know it. Good to see you, Rex. Alright, so. Time to go about our business here. First stop. Were you around when the female camps and the children overlast me? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Urz. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. Good, Varen. Yeah, we're friends. Stay. No, oh, he's obedient. It's a good dog. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Oof, ground glass. I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? It's those uh, Mickey Mouse. Humans say they're like monkeys. Yep, monkey Mickey Mouse food, monkeys. Ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. The pie jacks are from Elitania. Why did you call the pie jacks off-world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elitania. Yep. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitty everywhere. <laughs> hmm. Can't imagine you let them walk away after that. Not a chance. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population. And you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Killing um killing monkeys for a discount. Probably five years from the right. I'll do that. Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I I must have. A son. Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. It's kind of sad. His friend is just humoring him. I'm not really interested in this gambling thing. It's not that fun. Watch it, human. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's see what the human can do. Let's see what I can do. Uh, I don't remember all the controls, I think, but I think it's yeah, space part of fire. You gotta just lead them a little bit. And you have to remember that your shots are coming in from either side. There is an area of effect. Whoop. That was pretty good. How dare you? I'm trying to get, get me two at a time. It's pretty forgiving to be honest. 
There's two more. These guys with a long run up. Okie dokie. What are they coming for? Who knows? Who can say? Another mini game. I mean, this one's at least a bit interesting and different. You have to give him credit for that. Um, even if it is, like I said, quite forgiving, the area of effect of this gun is quite large. I mean, it feels good to hit him precisely, but it's not really necessary, to be honest with you. It's more about the lead than anything else. But they did, now that I think about it, really fill up a lot of this game time with mini games, man. You gotta find a way to put more game in your game. Uh, no, you don't. How dare you. I want that perfect score. Got a two for one there. Nice. Just killing some alien monkeys. Got another two for one. Got two for one deals for a discount. And that should do it. Fantastic. Ratchet's quest completed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a pretty good mini game, buddy. It's uh, it's more interesting than playing uh, the memory game on bypass. Let's hope we tackle the Baron. It was it was good, fast, strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. What a good friend. And they went back to the Vita. I lost half seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. Oh, I swear it was glorious. My was pleasure. Fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I do have that. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. Thank you very much. You go. Suit yourself. What do we have here? Pie jack meat. Fresh raw pie jack meat is a favorite of Varen everywhere. Well, let's see if we can give some of that to Urz. It's zero credits after all. Heavy weapon ammo. Stabilization gauntlets. Death mask, one of the goofier looking helmets. With one of the goofier bonuses. Increases negotiation bonus. That's your paragon and renegade thingy. Asymmetric defense layer. Health by 5%. Shield harness. Shield by 5%. To be honest with you, I'm not going to get any of these. Like, I don't think any of these are better than what I have. I mean, I could, I suppose. It wouldn't be that expensive. I'd have options, but I feel like I'd go back to the Normandy and I'd compare all the options and just decide to stay with what I have already. I am going to take this, though. Not that I really need it, but why the hell not, you know? Now, what's this? Now, what's this? It's always good to have some extra heavy weapon ammo. Ooh, uh, pie jack meat. I know who could use some pie jack meat. It was a good boy. Here, try this. That's a good boy. <laughs> Looks like Gers finally found someone to follow around. All right, I got a dog. A fish dog. Let's see, shall we take care of uh, Grunt first or Morden? I mean, we're already here. Let's take care of Grunt, I guess. Okay. The Nakmore Ambassador. Don't crowd the Ambassador. 
And what if I do? What are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. You forget. You don't know who you're talking to, buddy. This whelp of a croaker makes you worth my time. You better change your tone. Now, before my guards decide to reject you. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan, Ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. That's right. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Very bad things. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the Ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakvor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. Uh, okay. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become uh, an ambassador? Shepard, that's just being ignorant. You don't know as much as you think. That's true, Shepard. That's the very rude of you. Diplomat has to represent the strength of his people. Or his clan appears right for conquest. Mm. I slaughtered you gotta talk your shit. Of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Yeah, well. I should go. I'm gonna leave. I'm sure you were needed elsewhere. I got more important shit to do. It's true. Natorth. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Really? I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. Well, they're important. You're not. I don't care who you are. The female clans don't see anyone. Ever. I just wanted to annoy you. Speaking for the females is an honor. Even if it delays my rite of passage. Say otherwise, and I'll kill you. Otherwise. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to 